Hey, it's Captain Matt, Vote Buyer's Secret Weapon. I wanted to show you the importance of keeping your anodes in good condition. This is a, uh, a 300 Sundancer, and it's been a considerable amount of time in the water. Now, what you'll see is mostly just growth on this, but in addition to that growth, you'll see that the paint is starting to chip away and to peel away, which it means that you're starting to get corrosion, which then starts eating the, um, the gear casing and the skeg that it's just a thin little bit of metal there on that gear casing and what's if you're going to leave your stern drive in the water what's protecting it partly are these anodes you've got uh, usually a set there on the trim rabs there's usually a set up underneath you might have have one on the hub you've got uh, a couple here on a bravo 3 drive you'll probably have some on the trim tabs and this boat also has a mercathode which um, helps to avoid the electrolysis issue. So that's what it looks like when you have drives that you don't maintain the anodes and you get start getting that corrosion happening. You've got to pull them, you've got to clean them, you've got to sand them, uh, reapply that, that mercury phantom black or the Volvo paint because that has anti-corrosive properties. So as soon as you start losing that paint, the metal goes quickly. Now let me show you one that's new. This is on about the same vintage of 270 but this boat has probably lived most of its life on the trailer looking at this drive. It almost looks factory new. And if you look at the anodes, you can see they're partly dissolved, which is the sacrificial metal. Um, but what you want to do is you want to change these when they get to be about 50% uh, gone or less. Um, and they're fairly inexpensive to change out. You can do them yourself, just a couple of bolts. They're pretty easy to get to. And, um, this is the condition that you would like to keep your drive in. You can see that one. Let's see if I zoom in here. Right there, that one on the back plate that I was talking about. And um, depending on the drive you have, they may be in different locations. But that's the importance of the anodes because once you start losing your paint and you start getting that corrosion going, it can be an expensive repair. This to sand and paint each one, maybe anywhere from $500 to $1,000 um, in addition to changing those anodes. So if you can, uh, inspect them on a regular basis, especially if you're in a marina where there might be stray current from another boat. That's in, in addition to the corrosion that can happen in most bodies of water, that electrolysis is the metal getting eaten away by the electrical current. And there's some science that goes on there that's beyond me, but it's not good. And it can eat through a gear casing and eat through that uh, those anodes in a very quick amount of time. So if you leave your boat in a marina or anywhere where there's shore power on the dock, you want to pay special attention to uh, inspecting those drives and keeping a good eye on your anodes as well.